Welcome to the first episode of a new Minecraft series I'm starting on the Tatadamelian Dragonfly Trumpeters server, or the TDT server, uh, whichever one you prefer. Yeah, Tatadamelian. Yeah, not very, not very easy to say. Uh, this is a new server, so not much has happened yet. Um, it's actually a new world and a new server, uh, so we don't have that many members at the moment. Hoping to get some more, more about that later. Uh, so this video is only going to be short, just an introduction of uh, what I'm going to be doing in this series, and if you like the sound of it, then uh, maybe you'll stick around. Now firstly, I wanted to mention that my upload frequency probably won't change. So if you don't like months long gaps between videos, then maybe this isn't for you. I can't promise anything better, I just don't have the time. So in this series I wanted to show more of what I do when playing Minecraft than I did on the last server, if you saw those videos, where it was kind of more one-off things. Uh, and I've also added an episode number, because I, I wanted the episodes to kind of be related to each other and kind of slowly tell a story uh, through what I'm doing. So I'll kind of start building a base and as, as the episodes progress that base will be completed and things like that. So I'm hoping to do some stuff on my own, like uh, my base that I'll be explaining a little bit later. I also want to try and do some stuff with some other members. So previously on servers, uh, I kind of built mini games with uh, stories attached to them that people can kind of go through and complete and kind of as they work through the mini game, they are going through a story and sometimes kind of things will change and. Uh, I've done things like that. For, for example, uh, I just did one on the last server, which was uh, the Emperor of the Universe. Uh, Emperor of the Universe's daughter um, had kind of crashed here. Well, not crashed, they ran out of fuel and then landed, and then there was different tasks that people had to do uh, in order to get them home, and they kind of... Things changed and things were built and, um, and up until the end, uh, where they finally we're able to leave. I just need some ideas for it. I don't have any ideas yet, so I'll have to have a think about that. So the next thing I want to discuss is what I'm going to be doing with my base. Not everything has been decided about my base, so I'll only tell you what's been confirmed. So it's going to be a tourist attraction inside of a deep slate cave. Well, it was initially. I'll get to that later. Uh, so it'll have like a hotel, and it'll have caravans and activities and rides that people can do. And oh, I can give you, I can give you a little sneak peek, an early, an early look at uh, the hotel that I'm planning to build. Ooh, you're very lucky. You're very lucky, viewer. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I, that I show this to you. Shh. Got to keep this a secret. So. The story is that this was kind of built with our technology and then abandoned for quite a while. And then people with futuristic technology move in and start to make it their home. So it's not living in the hotel and the caravans and things like that. And these people will have maybe some futuristic technology, uh, but also I think not kind of all the futuristic technology that the outside world has because if you think like if you had to right now leave your house and then go and live in a cave you might for example pack all your stuff into your car drive your car down but eventually your car's gonna run out of fuel so you're not gonna be able to drive that around the cave um for for long so they're gonna have kind of some things but maybe other things they won't have. Some things will be, be useless. For example, if you if you brought your mobile phone down with you, if you were using today's technology, that's not going to be able to contact anybody because you don't have the, that infrastructure in place. So, yes. So it's going to be like that. And these people, for whatever reason, uh, have kind of been pushed out of society and now have gone into this cave and closed it off so... So they haven't got any access to the outside world. That's that's the the idea. So if that sounds something that you you'll be interested in, then stick around because <laughs> that's what's going to be happening. Uh, and if it isn't, then uh, you don't have to stick around. Goodbye then. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't have that many members at the moment. 
and I'm saying this with the expectation, the strange expectation that this video isn't going to do, isn't going to be massive, isn't going to get a load of views, um, which is, which is, which is weird because it's my hope, but also not my hope, not what I, it's what I want and what I don't want to happen to this video. But if you want to join the Tattered Amelian Dragonfly Trumpeters, um, there's going to be a link in the description to the Discord server. And if this video does go massive, then that link will disappear. So if the link's still there, you can still join. And what that'll do is, once you join, you'll be you'll be given the role awaiting chat, and you'll have limited access to the Discord server. And then uh, one of our what we call support roles will come and contact you about the server rules and uh, to, to get you whitelisted, stuff like that. And then you'll be made a full member and you'll have more access to the, to the Discord server and access to the Minecraft server. And also, if you want to make YouTube videos or something like that on the server, we also allow that. There are some rules about it, though, that you have to follow pretty much that you just respect other people on the server, so you're not including someone that doesn't want to be included, things like that. But yeah, you don't have to make videos as well, there are people that don't, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, anyway, that's the first, the end of the first episode on the Tattered Amelian Dragonfly Trumpeter server. So, goodbye, and potentially I'll see you in the next one. But, and potentially I'll see you on the server. Let's... Goodbye!